Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today I get to share with you this book called Elves in the Book House, written by Ryan Petty and illustrated by Vera Kulikov. This is the story of a girl named Ray who has just finished building a little library to put in front of her house. It's the first time she's ever used tools. It's the first time she's ever gotten to use real paint. And she is thrilled with the outcome. She has made a beautiful home for books to share with her friends in the neighborhood, complete with curtains that she's pulled back from the window to make sure that people can see what awaits them inside. Now, the night that they put it out, Ray has a hard time sleeping because she's anxious and excited to see how her friends in the neighborhood take to these stories and what they might take with them and what they might leave behind. So as the curator of this little library, she is ready the next morning to go check out what happened. Now when she gets there, she realizes things aren't exactly the way that she left them the night before, including the fact that the curtains have been pulled closed. And she wonders, hmm, I wonder why this happened. But she chalks it up to, you know, somebody going into the book house and picking a book and maybe bumping the uh, curtains as they went in or out. Um, but maybe there's more to this story than it first appears, as her cat alludes to during the story. This is a really charming picture book about the possibility and wonder that come not only with books, but with the people who care for them. And as anyone with a little free library knows, there's always opportunity for folks in the neighborhood to come collect books, share books, and return books as they are finished with them. Now, this story called Elves in the Book House, you don't actually ever see elves in the book house, but there is a lot of illusion that goes into it. And just like a book or anyone who really does fill their world with wonder and what if, there's always the possibility. And so it's up to the reader to determine whether or not those elves are really there and what they might look like. So as you go through the book, it's a really nice pace for especially elementary school aged readers because there's a little bit of nuance to the story. There's that question of who is in the book house, who is making those curtains open and close, um, and where are those books going? So the illustrations also are large enough to share with a group. So if you're reading to a classroom, um, this story works really, really well. Each of the images goes along with the text in a really nice way. So it helps to enhance kids' understanding of what's going on, as well as provides a visual story to go along with the written word. So this story is really lovely, not only for its wonder and possibility, but also for the potential to inspire a family to build their own little free library and see what might happen once they've done so. So this is a charming story to share with elementary school-aged readers, whether in the classroom or at home. And if this sounds like a great fit for you, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.